Hey, what's up? It's Ramonda Catrea with Brickhouse Talk Productions. And today I have a very special guest here with me. You know, recently I just launched on my website the Brickhouse Athlete of the Week. And I had the pleasure of attending a game between Tennyson Lancers and San Leandro Pirates. And um, my reason for going there, like I said, I really established Brickhouse to find those phenomenal athletes out there that I feel that are not getting visibility. So I was able to observe a player that no matter what end of the field his name was being called and I was so impressed with his skills and I did feature him as my first athlete of the week and his name is Rashawn Martin number six from the Tennyson Lancers. How are you doing today Rashawn? I'm doing good and you? I'm doing really well. I, I want to thank you for stopping by and taking the time to meet with me. I definitely want to give my viewers an opportunity to meet you personally. I posted some of your footage on my website and I, you know, I'm just really honored to feature you as my first player of the week. So tell me, how long have you been playing football? I've been playing football since I was six or seven years old. Wow. And you are here originally from California? Yes, um, I was born and raised in Oakland, and I moved when I was in like sixth grade, and I moved to Hayward. Hayward, okay. So, um, is this your, how many years have you been playing for tennis in high school? I've been, this is my first year. First year, tennis, okay. And um, so, like I said, every time I heard the announcers say anything about the game, they were calling out your name. Everybody was like, man, who is this kid in the stands and everything? So um, I seen you on the offense. I seen you making touchdowns. I seen you tackling and everything. So what exactly is your position with the team? Uh, basically, I play running back and slot and in defense. But uh, basically, with that game, I was just pretty much trying to play whatever because we was really trying to beat that team. And, then, and it's been a minute since they beat that team. So I was trying to do whatever to help the team. And you guys did that. And it was a tight game. So what did you guys have that, you know, the Pirates were lacking in order to pull the game out? You know, what do you think? What did your coach do or say to you guys to motivate you to win the game? I think uh, we motivated pretty much the whole week. We've been practicing hard and uh, studying film all week. So when we came out, I guess they wasn't really prepared. They just thought they would come over and run over, run over all of us. Mm -hmm. So we came out like pumped up. So I think, and then the, we started like they started scoring touchdowns, and then we started going down. And our like our coaches like get back up, like we got to keep going, got to keep pushing. You said that you guys practice really hard to prepare for this game. So what did you do in particular? What does Rayshawn Martin do before a game? You know, how do you psych yourself up or, you know, get ready to go out on that field and do everything? I think uh, getting me pumped up, I don't know, it starts. I only get pumped up until we get in our two lines and we stand in uh, the weight room before we come out and walk down to the field. So we be in our two lines and we come down. And then, like, halfway I get through the gate, I just start, like, bouncing up and down all the way till we get to the field. Then we get to the field, I just I run out, and then I look at the other team and just get pumped. And then now my head when no music come on. <laughs> do you pick out a player in particular that you look at and, you know, mean mug, or you just do it to them all? <laughs> nah, nah. Uh, I just I just look at the team. I don't really pick out the uh, specific player, just think who the star is. I just look at them and uh, just stay pumped up. Stay pumped. Let me ask you a question. So if I were to ask your coach, Terry Smith, about you, what would he say? What, would, what words would he have to say about Rayshawn Martin um, as a player? Uh, I wouldn't really – I really don't know. I think he would probably say uh, he's a great player. He's a great athlete. He played offense and defense. He, he, uh, he's an a, a athlete where he can get the ball and he can do good things in space. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was, and I'm glad he, I know he's glad to have you a part of the team. So we all know that there's no I in team, and you have a lot of, there was a lot of uh, guys out there on your, you know, on your team that were doing a phenomenal job. So you want to talk about any of those players that help you out, you know, during the game? Uh, it, it was a few players. Um, first off, it was, it was hard, like uh, the line, I think the line, we did good, we did real good. Um, and then it was some other players like uh, Austin Paxton. Mm -hmm. He did uh, he did good, very very good on the uh, catches. He came he stepped up big game for us for that one. And 
I really say uh, Kawan found our linebacker. Everybody er underestimated him because he like short. But he always he filled them holes and made tackles. There was another um, player. I think he was on defense. Last name Pangelina. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was it was him and um, Pangelina and uh, Deshaun Cosby. They did very good for the uh, the ends to, uh, containing the quarterback, especially that uh, number seven, the scrambler. So they did good. Absolutely, I I totally agree with you. So um, any plans for college? You know, after football, I know you're a senior this year, correct? Yes. So you want to go on and further your career, try to get into the NFL? Yeah, um, right now um, I'm just keep trying to play hard every game. And uh, I've been talking to a, co a few colleges lately, but uh, I'm try after my senior year, after the year is over, I'm trying to go to college and play ball. And you want to stay local or are you going to try to go outside of California? Um, I, I, the Raiders could use you. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I want to stay in the area, stay close to home, but if I ever get a chance to get a scholarship to go out and that's the only scholarship, then I'll take that. Okay, so how are you as far as academic, you know, how are you doing in school? I'm doing good. Really good? I'm, I'm improving right now. Okay, good. That's great because, you know, school is number one. I, I preach that often. And um, talking about going into the NFL and everything, I know you have to have a favorite team out there and a favorite player that you look up to. Uh, yeah, there is. My favorite team is the Oakland Raiders. But um, I have a few few um, favorite players. But first off, my favorite player is Michael Vick. Then I have some other players like uh, Adrian Peterson and Deshaun Jackson. Why? Why Mike Vick? <laughs> I don't. Uh, I think it started when I was playing Pop Warner. Uh, people, when I was playing quarterback, I used to play qu uh, quarterback a little bit when I was Pop Warner, and they used to say I like, I play like him, like I look like him, I throw like him, and stuff like that. You've done it all. You, oh, you know, I was gonna say you did everything on the field during that game, but throw the ball, but quarterback. <laughs> Have you did that for Tennyson? Have you even practiced, you know, in quarterback position? No. Not really, um, but I am in a spot for a quarterback. Like I'm second, second or third string quarterback. So when our quarterback go down, I come in. Okay, I'm telling you, this guy's just all over the field. Okay, so outside of football, what other sports does Rayshawn like to play? I like to play basketball. That's yeah, that's about it. Other than football. And uh, somebody told me that you were a great basketball player too. So uh, what position did you play in basketball? Um, basketball, I played a few positions. I played, my main position was the one, was point guard. And I move around, like move to shooting guard for sometimes, but I mainly play point guard. That's not like. Wow, so you were multi-position in basketball as well. So who's the athlete in the family? Was it your mother, your dad? Uh, in my family, we are with athletes. Uh, it started probably, my mom, she was a track star. So I think that's where I uh, got my speed from. Right. And then for my brothers, uh, my oldest brother, he he was the uh, hooper. Well, both of my brothers was the hooper. And then uh, my brother, he also played baseball, but they was all mostly like basketball players. Okay. Yeah, I, I know it had to be in the family because you basketball, you're all over the court, and football, I've seen that for myself. So um, what else should we expect from you this year? I know you guys got a game coming up, and you're going to be playing against Mount Eden, correct? Yes. And uh, so does that look like it's going to be a challenge for you guys? Are you guys just ex excited about Mount Eden as you was for San Leandro? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. I think we all are. But um, – um, I wouldn't say we go out there and just beat the game because uh, people, like, I think people starting to think, like, uh, we go take these dudes lightly and just come over and run on them. So I think we still got to come in and play our game. Right. right, exactly. Like you said, for the San Leandros, they thought they were going to come in and run over you guys. So, yeah, so that's going to be an awesome game. And I hope to get some footage of that, too, because I'm going to follow you now. I'm telling you, now that you're on my site, I'm going to be checking your stats and posting and seeing everything that you're doing, because I was totally impressed. And people that I've been talking to, all, and also there was a guy, he said he used to coach you, named JP or something. He posted something on my website. He said, man, I can't believe it. I used to coach this kid, and he's still going at I mentioned your coach Terry Smith briefly earlier but um how is it planned for Terry Mr. Coach Smith 
Uh, it's real good. He's a good coach. Um, but before when I went to Hayward, I known Coach Smith before because I was finna go to Hayward uh, Tennyson. Uh, started my freshman year, and I was out there playing with them. So that's how I knew him before. Okay, and so um, as far as, like, I know he teaches you guys, you know, as far as the games and all that stuff, you know, plays and all that. But what is about as far as having a unity with the team, you know, the morale of the team, uh, is he good with that as well? Uh, yes, he keep us all as one. He, he good at that. Like, um, we stay as one. We keep us like uh, a family. As we are like a brotherhood in our, in our uh, football team. I kind of knew the answer because I could tell how you guys play together, you know, and I know that it st starts from the top, so I know your coach has to implement that uh, format for you guys. And all I can say is, Coach Smith, you have a great group of guys, and I look forward to following you guys this season. And um, I thank you again so much for stopping by and, and meeting with me to allow my viewers to meet you. And um, anybody in particular that you want to give a shots out to? Uh, I would give a shout out to first, uh, fan first, um, my mom, and uh, I can't forget my my brother. He come out to every every uh, every game. Well, there you have it, Brickhouse Talk Athlete of the Week, Mr. Rashawn Martin, number six of the Tennyson Lancers. He's a running back. He's a fullback. He's a defensive back. He's all that in one. So look out for him, and uh, we will definitely keep you updated with uh, Rayshon's season this year. I'm Ramonda Cotrere, and this is Brickhouse Talk Production. Thank you.